All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and this is Simplex 4010 Test 24. Simplex light plates, because going up, we have a Simplex 4903-9101 strobe plate with a Simplex 9101-9358, I believe, horn, and this is set to code 3. And then going over here is the Simplex 4906-9103 horn only. This is also set to code 3. I guess we can come down over here and under the stopper with alarm off, I believe. Yep, is the Kitta B5. Oh, you didn't. There you go. And then coming up and around over here is the Mercom MS-710ADU dual action, full station. Come all the way over here, this is Simplex. Uh, what is this, the 9101, 9010, or 9401, no, that's not right. 9401, oh, what are you? I don't feel like walking all the way back. Where do all my tools go? I had a lot of tools over here for resetting pull stations. Anywho, we all know what that strobe is. And then the CPG, 4050-T, I'll have to look at my sheet. I literally memorized all these and then forgot them. So what was that? That was the Simplex 4904-9101 light plate of 4.8 candela. And then that pull was the CPG 4050-211T. That's what it was. I am sorry. Um, door holder is active. Stopper is not. There's not really a whole lot else to do. Yeah, that was all the devices. So let's pull, push, and pull. So go ahead and silence the horns. Strobes continue to flash. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to realarm this point, but I'm going to turn off this horn just so you can hear how this one sounds because I really like it. And the other horn kind of masks the sound. So we're going to come in here and we're going to turn off neck too. Panel will go into trouble. And there's my keys. You can acknowledge that trouble, and we can actually re-alarm the Mercom point. So you can hear that is a much higher pitched horn compared to the other one. I think it sounds pretty nice. And actually the two together, I believe I tuned it out to be a C major chord, which I, don't know, I found that kind of interesting. So we will go ahead and reset the panel and re-enable this horn. Let's do that real quick. There we go. This strobe continues to flash in here at 75 candela. Panels resetting. Let's go ahead and pop the door back up. And we just wait. Got the Wii Locky 50. All right, panels reset. Let's go ahead and pull the B5. Here we go. And we will go ahead and silence. And let's actually push the test button or the fire button because we haven't done that in a while. Lift and push. And we will go ahead and silence. 
So we can start resetting. Get my STI key out. Here it is. And then we can go ahead and reset the kit of B5. Just pop this, and I don't want to do that on camera. Lovely, ain't it? Oh, come on. I don't really want to take the whole front cover off. I might have to. That's not the right hex wrench. That should be the right hex wrench. And that fitting. There we go. Awesome. Wow, why is this just not working? I am so sorry. Oh, I'm an idiot. And we can go ahead and reset again because apparently I don't always know how to reset a pole station. Just couldn't get the right angle, I guess. I really hate that stopper sometimes, but I'm glad I bought it. <laughs> I'm really glad I bought something I hate. Okay, so we will let this reset. We'll pull the CPG. We will magnet test the smoke by the panel. And I think that will be it. Come on. There you go. Good job. Take my screwdriver. And let's pull. Here we go. We will acknowledge from the enunciator, acknowledge and silence. go. Awesome. Cool beans. And then, you know, while we're here, we might as well pull point 0.11. We haven't done that in a while. So we can put a silence and system reset in the panel while I reset this pole. go. Panel is resetting. So you can see all the active alarms here. And we wait. There we go. System reset complete. So now then let's magnet test the smoke detector. Door back up, and here's my magnet. So let's magnet test here. It's been a while. So, um, it's not really a whole bunch else I wanted to do. So I think I'm going to end this test by key testing in the storage room. So it's weird I'm going to be ending it from in here. I don't really ever do that, but I guess I will. So thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.